Good morning. I wanted to talk about my past childhood. My family and I went camping in a trailer. We also had a boat connected to that trailer. My, my wife named Shayna wanted to go to a hotel and I wanted to take the RV. We had a dilemma. We finally agreed to take the RV. To rent the RV, it was a it was a hundred dollars a week. For a hotel, it was one hundred and twenty five dollars a day. I decided that the RV was the best choice. We went ninety five thousand miles from California to Wyoming to Wisconsin to New York to Maine to Washington DC and then we went home that was 95,000 miles it took seven weeks and I enjoyed every minute of it My wife, my wife said that it was like being in a hotel but on wheels. If we needed to go to the bathroom, it was just right there. For both of us, it was perfect. We bought an RV because it was very expensive to go and visit my three children. When I drove the RV, that was the first time I was really scared because the RV is 35 feet long. To take that left turn, I had to be very careful. Usually when you're driving a car, it isn't that hard. Driving an RV, you have to be very careful for trees. For cars, it's very easy to go under road signs, but for RVs, it may be harder because the RV is taller. It's kind of like driving a giant car. There was this one time in the summer we took a trip for three months. After that three months, I drove a car again and it, feel, it felt awkward. In an RV, in an RV you're very up high, so it seems like you're protected. When you get into the RV, there's a refrigerator off to the right. We also have an area where you can sit down and sleep. Two people can sleep in that same area. Those beds fold out. Adjacent to the refrigerator, you have a clothes hanger. There's also a shower and a bathroom right next to it. Usually my children would be bouncing up and down in the back. 
if they were to say that they were hungry or they're tired, I would just tell them that it's it's back there. Go to the refrigerator or go to the bathroom. It's all back there. There were times where I had to pull over and go to sleep because I was driving so much. The RV really guzzles gas. It seems to be very expensive. My oldest daughter My oldest daughter is 16 and she's always she always wished to have her own car. That's because at 7 in the morning she she usually has to take the car for her class. She drives our Jeep. The RV is 75 years old. Down the line, she might want an RV. Maybe I'll give her an RV once I retire. <laughs>